Hi, this is Nina Amir, Inspiration Coach and author of How to Blog a Book, Write, Publish, and Promote Your Work One Post at a Time. So today I want to talk to you about why I think you should blog your book rather than book your blog. So what does that mean? Okay, blogging your book means to write your book from scratch one post at a time. That means you produce a first draft of your book on your blog. Booking your blog means that you're repurposing content that you already have on your blog. That means the blog posts that you've already written, you're repurposing them into a book. So, why is blogging a book better than booking a blog? Let me explain. When you blog a book from scratch, what you're doing is you're approaching the project just like you would any other book project. You're going to check out the markets, you're going to uh, see whether your book is unique by studying the competition, and you're going to, most importantly, or maybe not most importantly, but very important, you're going to create a content plan, break it down into post-sized bits, 250 to 500 words, if you're writing fiction, maybe a little longer than that, and then you're going to write your book from point A to point B, start to finish, on your blog. And the content's planned out. So you know you're writing a good book because you've already decided this. You've, print, you've, you've done all the legwork. Like I said, you've, decided, you've made sure it's unique, it has a market, it's a viable project, and you're going from point A to point B. Okay, if you book a blog, what you're doing is you're going to a blog where you have been blogging and publishing posts without the intention of writing a book. You may have a lot of great content on your blog, but it may not be great content for a book. A lot of bloggers, they just take that content and they throw it into a book using some kind of program, or they put it in a manuscript and then they put it in a book, and it's not a great book because it wasn't intended to be a book. Now, some others, they go the extra mile, they create a content plan. Great! But then they plug in that content, they have to search their blog, and then they plug in the content, and they have holes. Not all the content is there. So that's not a great idea either. What you need to do is then write the extra content. You have to make sure that you actually have a good book. That, that you know, you may have 50% of the content and you may need to write the rest. So it's a lot more work to book a blog. It's easier, it's faster to blog a book. Blogging a book simply is the quickest and easiest way to write a book and promote it at the same time. To create that author's platform, that fan base, those, those readers waiting to go out and buy your book when you're done. So that's why it's better to blog a book than to book a blog. This is Nina Amir, Inspiration to Creation Coach, author of How to Blog a Book, hoping that you will achieve more inspired results. You can do that by buying my book, of course, or by visiting my blog, howtoblogabook.com, or checking out ninaamir.com, where you can find all my other websites, copyrightcommunications.com, puresphericcreations.com, and my other blogs. Have a great day.